there has been so much discussion in terms of the growth of the Chinese art market. And we think it's absolutely critical to provide a more historical opinion in terms of how the Chinese art market in the modern era started and grow and expanded into such a large scale. So today, Chinese auction market is the second largest in the world after the United States before UK. And it is absolutely a necessary moment for us to look back to help us understand what has been achieved. And this will enable us to better understand what will happen in the market moving forward. If we are talking about any market in terms of the scale and trading activity, we are looking at supply and demand. So especially the art market often is very much supply driven by the supply of high quality of artworks. So to answer your question, when the state owned antiquity shops, they were acting as the only legal entity to trade art, they were able to source artworks from many individuals in China who received back their private private collections before the Cultural Revolution from the government after the Cultural Revolution as part of a restitution process. So this sourcing activity built up by the state-owned antiquity shop helped establish a tremendous amount of supply of very precious traditional Chinese artworks, including paintings, ceramics, and other works of art. Actually, the Chinese art market had experienced a, a short period of fluctuation, as you could see from the chart in the report. However, the Chinese government at the time, to protect the economy, injected over four trillion RMB to support different industries. When you have so much capital helping as a foundation in the economy, it sort of prevented the country's economy from being too much influenced by the global financial crisis. So as a result, there was a short dip in the Chinese art market. We're talking about the auction data but it went back, rebounded in 2009, 2010 immediately. So the, the decline happened from 2011 to 2012. After the decline, since 2012 till 2017, the Chinese art auction market has been stabilized at a range around 330 billion RMB which is about 4.5, 4.7 billion US dollar. So to answer your question, we are looking at the high value of lots and turnover, things sold at millions of US dollars, sometimes the tens of millions. If we are looking at Yuan masters, for example, Wang Meng's painting. So that will continue to be the biggest contributor of the annual turnover of Chinese art market for a long time. From those people I have spoken with, all of them have a goal, is in addition to what they're doing for their private business, they are hoping this institution, their private museum as a standalone practice, is able to break even. That is, they have a lot of cost in terms of operation, paying rent, and paying staff, personnel, which cost them a tremendous amount of financial resources. Meanwhile, they were hoping to gather sponsorship, ticket sales, um, space rental, through different channels they could recover the cost. So a lot of private museum owners told me they were hoping in the five years they, they could let this entity to be able to survive on their own. It's a very strong demand. It's happening and will become stronger. At the same time, if we look at domestic Chinese auctioneers, 
they don't have a specific or very mature department of connoisseurship and selling of Western art, which means they don't have impressionist department, old master department of Western art, and they don't have Western contemporary art department. And it will take some time for that to happen because first of all, you need to train a group of very experienced expert who understand the connoisseurship. Second, you need to have a global collector's network. You know where to do your sourcing. So during the lead time for that happen at the domestic Chinese auction years, there is demand from the younger generation who want to buy Western art, but they cannot meet that demand through local auction years. As a result, the only way for them to be, to be satisfied of this buying desire is through Western galleries, Western art fairs, and Western auctioneers, for example, Christie's and Sotheby's. Yes, that's already happening. So in recent years, we see very aggressive marketing activities from Western galleries in China, like House and Wars, David Zwerner, just to name a few. They bring international expertise. They have a board network of different museums, and they also have a very professional service. So the local galleries in this more competitive environment is having, are having a harder time to survive. We'll, we'll definitely witness more local Chinese contemporary galleries will face the challenge of make ends meet in the next five years.